He said 3-1. I don't know if this team can beat the Toronto Raptors without me, but I damn sure believe we can beat them with me. I want the chip, and I'm going for it. And I think when we talk about Kevin Durant, the basketball player, and the person, that's what we should be thinking about, the fact that the brother wanted the chip. And he wanted to, and by the way, if he wanted to eclipse LeBron and, and, and do what LeBron did, but one-up LeBron's 3-1 deficit to come back to win a championship, all of that is a part of the competitive fervor that we want from great athletes. I have no problem with it. KD looks valiant absolutely today. Um, here's the best case scenario for what just happened. KD, because my reservation, the reason I said I don't think he should play unless he really wants to play, but understand what he's risking. It's not the money in the free agency. Remember, I said this yesterday. Yes, you did. It's that he's risking the rest of his prime. You said it yesterday. You said right. it last week. You said it two weeks ago. That's what, that's what concerns me. And let's say he's never the same player again. That's more likely than not. Understand? Like, if he overcomes it, he's beating the odds. Probably never going to be the same. Because of, his, because of the nature of the injury, how many players have come back for what they've looked like oh, after that, that and his age. That makes me sad, and Very I don't want to believe that. However, here's the best-case scenario. I'm telling you right now, without KD's contributions in that game, they surely lose yesterday. They had an eight-point lead when he went out. They won by one single point. Mm -hmm. So what if they stay alive? And according to BPI, they should win it, Oracle. I think they're going to lose it, Oracle. But let's say they win, and they bring it back here and win another title then KD sacrificed the rest of his prime on the altar of contributing to another championship. That's the best case scenario. But who really profits off of that? Is it KD and his reputation? Yes, in a certain way. It's the Warriors, who then, if he does leave, doesn't even have to pay him for his decline, got every single thing out of him, created an atmosphere of pressure, and now want the, the, the executives want you to feel sorry for them for creating that atmosphere of pressure because they kind of feel guilty about it. They're trying to indicate to people. Mm -hmm. Thriller in Manila, one of the most brutal prize fights of all time. Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. Mm -hmm. Eddie Futch, Frazier's corner man, wouldn't let him out for the 15th round. Frazier wanted to come out, but Eddie Futch realized he might die. Now, that's a philosophical question. Maybe in the greatest prize fight of all time, a champion deserves the right to die. Maybe he does. I mean that seriously. Maybe who is someone else to say, no, this is what I want to do with my life. This is my legacy. This is the, the risks I choose to take. But Eddie Futch cared about him and the rest of his life and the rest of his career and said, no, may have won the fight. Ali said he was close to death himself. He wanted to quit in the 15th round, right? right? KD has the heart of a champion. I understand that no, no one ever questioned KD's, except for some people, maybe even the Warriors organization putting pressure on him. Did I never questioned his willingness to play, to try to win championships. He has heart. It is incumbent upon your corner man to save you from yourself sometimes. So who was really in KD's corner? Was the Warriors organization in KD's corner? It does not appear that way to me this morning. Well, first of all, that's fair because there's a lot of people that's going to question the Golden State Warriors uh, over this. I don't because, again, I would have made the decision, uh, have, you know, and, and I'm not going to apologize for it. But, but I understand those who feel a little bit differently. I do draw a distinction between somebody's life on the line, which Joe Frazier's life was on Versus the line. Versus career. As a career. It's a metaphor. We, yeah. also, we also have to remember in fairness, in like fairness, in fairness, and, and, and people don't say this, but damn it, I'm going to say it. KD wasn't playing for free, you know. KD making over 20, 28 million dollars. And oh, by the way, there's a player option, a player option. KD right now cannot play in all likelihood before February or March of next year, okay? KD right now can sit up there and say, I'm going to opt in and take 31 and a half million dollars. And oh, by the way, I'm going to be ready for the fall of 2020. I mean, right now, he can do that. So, again, when we take that into consideration, what are we talking about here? You play, particularly when you're great and when you're in a position to win the chip. You play for championships, particularly when the contract is signed on the dotted line and you know that you're in that position. How many times do we sit up there and say tomorrow ain't guaranteed? Not just in terms of life, but in terms of championships. What's here today might not be there next year. We got teams on the come up. We got free agents going to different teams. You don't know what kind of situation you're going to be in after this season where you're going to be in a position to win a championship. If you elect to go for it, 
I don't have a problem with that. That's why I'm saying that's the position that I take. I don't look at it from the standpoint. When I look at KD, it was valiant. He wanted another chip. He wanted the championship. Even if he wanted to eclipse LeBron, which I think is plausible. My point is, there's nothing to knock about that. He's the greatest in the world. I believe I'm the greatest in the world, and I'm going to show y'all. That's what we usually what about applaud. I love, your, I love your point about the salary because you are getting paid right now to do this job right now. So who is to say you have to save yourself for later and in your I said Play option of personal to ambition, right? Play option. Yeah. I just but can't think I'll about this. money at all today. Right. I'll, I'll say this though: Imagine what KD was risking in terms of the rest of his prime. I don't consider KD a top ten player of all time. Uh, although, you know, I, I don't consider him the second best forward of all time. Probably not the third because LeBron, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan. But he's making a move. What about this? What about ha he, he stays healthy? He doesn't play right now. He goes to the Nets or some team that can actually win, Molly, or, or you know, like, and, and shows that he could be the best player on a team where it's not an unfair advantage mm -hmm. and winds up as the all time scoring leader and continues his defensive improvements, right? And one day retires and says, Okay, you want to talk about MJ and Kareem and LeBron and Bill Russell? You better put my name right in there with them. I'm talking about I have a case to be the, as the greatest player who ever lived. That was still on the table and for I, him. But, but, but that's according to Max Kellerman. According to Stephen A. Smith and others, I think he's in that conversation right you now. You think KD is in the conversation think, think, as greatest think, player who think, ever lived right I now? I think he's in a conversation when you talk about greatest forwards that ever played the game. I think he's in that conversation. Greatest player. He, oh, he would have been but, the all-time scoring but, 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 leader. Well, listen, if you're going to put... He might have five stuff, chips. If you're going to put Bird in there... I can put KD in there. I don't put there. Bird in the greatest player ever Okay, well, then, well I, I do. I put Kevin Durant in the conversation. All when right. you think about his skill set, his size, so, the freak so of Jordan, nature. Jordan, Kareem, LeBron, and KD. I don't, think, I don't think he's better than them. I'm saying he's in a conversation in terms of his skill set, his talent, and his numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. KD's in the conversation. I'm telling you.